So we look through the quiz and we think that these are simple, easy questions. Um, but I don't think that we've gotten any person who's gotten all the questions right. Uh, and we've surveyed over 100 people so far. And especially some of the questions where people think that it's possible to transmit HIV through your sneezing or coughing. We talked with one of the professors in the public health program, Dr. Tanya Basta, and she said that a lot of the people wanted to know more and that there weren't good education programs and people didn't really know how to protect themselves, they didn't understand the disease, and so Ryan and I decided to sort of continue her project um, and do more surveys, collect more data that can be used hopefully to, in the future, design some efficient, community-sensitive intervention programs to help people understand a little bit more about HIV and maybe sexual health in general. Today is Sunday. And it's an interesting day because this big market is just one per, once per week. One, one question that people very much agree with, which surprised me a lot, is people are very strongly in support for laws that legally separate individuals who have HIV and AIDS in order to, to quote unquote protect the public health. And I think that's uh, something that really surprised me because it wasn't only a few individuals who, who said that, but many individuals who we, we survey say that. It's, it's hard, especially when we process the data. But it's really interesting and it's, it's, it's a, a good job. Uh, be with the people, for example, and talking with the people. The people have a lot of opinions about the topic, and it's interesting listening all that. In the knowledge category, nobody seems to know anything about um, treatment for babies. Like when a person is, uh, is pregnant and gets infected, usually without the treatment the baby will be infected, but there is treatment for it. And um, nobody knows about it, so everybody thinks that if you're pregnant and you have HIV, your baby will automatically have HIV. It's the best of Karimanga, I think it's the people. The people are very kind and very helpful. So we are happy to, to stay here, to, to come here. A lot of the people just in our conversations have talked about the lack of healthcare here and so everyone has been excited that we're asking questions about it because hopefully something more will come out of it. We want to make this into uh, an effort where we recruit students who are coming in in the next year's medical school class uh, to take off the project with us or we can start developing um, forms of education and working with Ministeri, uh, Ministerio de Salud Pública to, to try to develop um, education specific for communities so that we can hopefully um, cut the risk uh, that people have to develop HIV as well as improve the care of people living with HIV and AIDS. For me, I've been here before, and I, I loved the city, I loved the people are so kind and generous. Um, it, it's just a beautiful place.